Hello and welcome to another installment of Discovery. Here we have the Bureau XCOM Declassified, which was originally going to be a first person shooter reboot of the XCOM franchise, and then Firaxis made XCOM Enemy Unknown? I think that's the name of the game. And then this game got a much lower budget and became this game, the Bureau XCOM Declassified. Well, you got a lot of mixed reception. And that's all I know going into it. So let us see what became of this. Sure. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Yep. Well, this is what they want us to play on. Whatever. But, uh, if you go back and search for the XCOM first person shooter trailer, I remember that thing looking really, really cool. General Douglas MacArthur said that. Sputnik. Yeah, kind of, you know, a lot of people really liked Firaxis' uh, XCOM game, and I really like it too. But it would have been cooler to... Just as cool to have both of these games. They, uh, really fantastic, awesome things. But I guess there could only be one. You know, that XCOM first person shooter got a lot of XCOM fans upset, but still would have been fun and cool, I think. You know, like I said, why not both? Just the sort of thing Mr. Hoover has been warning about. Soviet operatives have penetrated the very highest levels of our military and government. It is a fact. The NSA is not convinced that this is a Soviet operation. Director Falk, is this going to devolve That's an unfortunate name. Insider briefings. Well, there's been a new development. A device was recently recovered from the Illyrium mine in Bannock, Montana. The technology is unknown to us, but suggests the activity of a far more sophisticated organization. And where is this device? Close. Send Agent Carter down. And you know, 1960s era stuff is cool. As, you know, Fallout 4 just came out. And got me in the mood to play, just dive into everything video games have to provide me from that era. Cold War intrigue and all. But also just the music. To know. Your escort. Director's orders. I don't need an escort. Well, you're getting one. How much have you been told? My orders are to deliver that case to Director Falk. That is all. And you haven't even been the least bit curious to what's inside? Uh, no. Good. But I'll have to make sure. No one touches that case except Director Falk and me. We'll see about that. Whoa. Here I was thinking that was going to be my main character. This is it. Well, I guess he's still alive. I thought he got shot in like the face. I, 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 that looked really dangerous. Very exaggerated point. Whoa, okay. Hello there. Zombies. Choppy frame rate right here. I am playing this on my PC, so maybe it's my fault, but what the hell? The gunshot. It, at the same time. Something burned her. Yeah, I don't know. What? I don't know what I was going with right there. What happened? 
Yeah, I was gonna say, this doesn't seem like it would be that powerful of a game. I don't know why my PC couldn't run it. At less than, you know, three frames a second. Oh! Okay, I can shift. And I take cover. This is the beginning of Metal Gear Solid 5. Yep. Every third person game has to have something akin to this. Yeah, that frame rate's gonna be an issue. I imagine watching it, uh, can be a real problem, so I don't blame you for leaving. I'm gonna at least figure out what's going on here, though. Got some hip fire there. Not getting any cursors. Aliens. Our pews were not pewy enough. Oh, he shot the door on us. What are we going to do now? Mm. Reload. I shot you. I'm earning XP. So I wonder if there are RPG elements in this. This frame rate's not a uh, not really gonna do it for me. Ugh. Again, could be my fault. This race isn't gonna last long. I gotta go. I wonder if we can change the graphics from here. It's not what I wanted. Options. Graphic settings. Advanced. Hmm. Can't change the resolution in the middle of a video. I think that would go over very badly. Let's see. Max smooth frame rate. Let's just drop that to 30. Field of view. I don't know. I guess 65 is as low as we can get that. And those are our graphics options. Oh, here we go. Low, 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 off. Wow, all right. Let's see if that has any effect. Well, it's a little bit better. Not enough. What two way? This thing? Some walk and talk, Gears of War style. I can do whatever I want. You're supposed to kick the doors down, buddy.
See if you can open the door. I'll meet you inside. All right. I gotta get that M14. Open. Standard U.S. military model M14 762 millimeter ammunition, fully automatic. Sorry, soldier. I need this more than you do. The bureau. Oh. A squad commander lives and dies I was gonna read by it. choices on the battlefield. Charging into combat only gets a brave soldier shot. If a commander wants to achieve victory over superior forces, they must be observant, creative, and precise. The map of America down there looked like we had annexed Mexico. Keep quiet. They're here. Get in position behind those crates. Mm -hmm. I'll flank them from the window. Opening fire! Nowhere to hide, you bastards! Open fire! I know there's supposed to be some sort of tactical uh, commander element to this game, in keeping with the fact that XCOM as a series is supposed to be a real-time strategy game. Or not a real-time, a turn-based strategy game, rather. That wasn't... I thought that was a tutorial for it, but evidently not. So far, just kind of a Gears of War clone. Nice shot. You're good, Carter. I used to be. I used to be. Bullshit. Falk wouldn't be interested in you if you weren't the best. We'll mm. see. Oh, I have to walk down here. I thought there was fire this way. Wow, okay. Calm down. Calm down, game. I'll stop playing you in a second. Don't worry. Won't put you through this pressure anymore. Poor bastard. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's where I was going. Can I blow up this thing? Can I walk around it? There we go. Nice tanks. Now we even got the Gears of War look at stuff button. Cover and position will keep your agents safe and opens the enemy to attack. You can cue actions for your agents, such as moving to a position and firing on an exposed enemy. Watch for opportunities and make every shot count. The battlefield can be your ally All right. if you use it well. Well, okay, now I'm over here. So how do I? Hold on, I've got an idea. Space. Here we go. To highlight. Okay. Uh. Use. Use mouse to highlight Nelson's move order. Press to select the order. Move to R. Okay. Well, I don't have free camera movement right here, so that's kind of awkward. Anyway, he has critical strike. Need to use that. On that thing. Hit it hard. All right. Oh, that's that. Set up crossfire. Holding line. Oh. Awesome. See if I can use my heal on myself. If this is indeed a heal, or self. All right. Well, that's easy. Whoa! Wait. They got Nils down real quick. This pistol's better anyway. It's all about them headshots. 
if you know, I could actually get them because I said frame rate. How do I revive him then? Oh, well, I tried. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it for XCOM Declassified. Uh, yeah. I, I wish I could give it more of a look, but... Yeah, that's not a good first impression at the very least. I don't know. I'll keep playing it uh, when I can break myself away from Fallout 4, but yeah, would have been cooler to see what this game actually would have been, and maybe, you know, you can run it better and you'd have more fun with it, I don't know, but I did not have fun with it. Uh, so there you go, and uh, thank you for watching, yeah.